Where Pete Christie must win the next four weeks to finish 1999 with a 500 record. Improbable, but there's <laughs> if there's anyone who will go through the ridicule to try, it's Pete Christie. This week, Pete travels to Bristol to face the brother-sister combination in ice hockey. Time for I Beat Pete. Let's meet this week's challengers. Mark Wilkins from Langhorne, Pennsylvania. Erica Wilkins from Langhorne, Pennsylvania. Brother-sister combination. What's this week's challenge going to be? I'm shooting seven shots on you, and you're shooting seven shots on my sister. Now, usually you're the goalie, isn't that correct? That's correct. How do you think you're going to fare taking shots coming out of the net to take shots on net? I think I got a pretty good chance. Is that because I don't know how to skate? That's one of the reasons. Really? Well, no offense to you. A couple years ago in the first official IBP challenge, I got a net against John LeClaire. Bring it on! <laughs> I can't get up. You're no John LeClaire. We'll see about that then. All right, and then I'm going to be shooting on you. You're an actual goalie. Are you worried about facing me? Kind of. <laughs> really? Why come? I'm not sure. Just I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right, now tell me how you got involved in hockey. Is it because of your brother? Yeah, my, I always used to go to my brother's games, and everyone's like, why don't you play? So I tried, and I liked it. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what happens. Seven shots each. It's time for I Beat Pete. Unlike my challenge with the Flyers, this time around I didn't wear skates since I can't skate. Mark went first and made his mark immediately with a goal. That went in? Shoot. A senior goaltender from the Chamonix High School in the Lower Bucks County League marks 3-8-2 this year, yet has a 9.50 save percentage, facing an average 35 to 40 shots a game. In one contest for his club team, the Bucks County Generals, he faced over 70 shots, so he's not puck shy. Man, look at that five hole. A league all-star the last three seasons, Mark's currently deciding where to play college hockey. He ended up making four of his seven shots for goals, but at least I made a few sportacular saves. <clears throat> now it was my turn to shoot, facing not Mark, but his sister, 16-year-old goaltender Erica who's in the beginner's no-check division of the Lower Bucks County Hockey League. Last year, she also played club hockey for the Bristol Blazers. Taking some practice slaps, since I wasn't wearing skates, I couldn't get my proper footing, so they literally rolled out the red carpet for me. The squeaky wheel always gets the oil. See, look at you. Don't fall rolling out the red carpet. <laughs> a once nervous Erica wasn't anymore. You feel pretty confident. Yeah, now I am that I saw that he can't really stand on the ice. <laughs> Even with my magic carpet ride, the 16-year-old made several saves before I finally was able to net a goal to make it four to one. However, Erica stood tall, and while I tallied one other goal, it wasn't nearly enough as the Wilkins beat Pete. Four to two. She got four goals on me when I was in net. My goaling skills, not very good. It was all right. Stopped a couple of them. But you seem to have that one side of the net. Yeah, I went to go there. It looked like the easier side. Kept putting them there. I got two on you, but uh, I didn't do very well either. You did a good job. <laughs> now, you see, you were nervous for nothing, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. You faced a much tougher competition when you're playing a real game, don't you? Yeah. Well, you guys win the challenge. You get the official I Beat Pete t-shirts. And you get to say it, ladies first. I beat Pete. I beat Pete. The loss not only assures me of a losing yet very competitive record for the year, since I'm now 21 and 26 in 1999, it's also my 50th loss overall like at 33 high, and 50, okay. but I'll be back. We'll have another challenge next week. In Bristol, Pete Christie for Comcast Sportsnet. Now, if you would like to challenge Pete, still plenty of time between now and the new year. Drop him a letter at 3601 South Broad Street, Philadelphia. 19148, don't forget to include your phone number. And we encourage all weightlifters, strongmen, karate experts, bungee jumpers, and very angry pro wrestlers. All encouraged to write in. Yeah, that's how he gets back to the 500 mark, by that's, taking on guys like that. He's got a shot. Or, or women like that. Mm -hmm. well, we have to take one final break. We'll be back with our Pico Power Play of the Day. Stay with us.